Let's take a look at how to compare customary units by multiplying. A container of ice cream holds three pints of ice cream. Do 15 containers of ice cream hold more than 22 quarts of ice cream? Well, the first thing I want you to notice is that one of these measurements is given in pints and the other one is given in quarts. So you wanna compare them in the same measurement. So we need to know our conversion that one quart is equal to two pints. Okay, so that means if one quart is equal to two pints, I can take my number of quarts and multiply by two to see how many pints that is. So I can say 22 times two, well two times two is four, two times two is four, so that gives me 44, so 22 quarts would be equal to 44 pints. Okay, and we know there's three pints in each container, and we have 15 containers. So to figure out all the pints in those 15 containers, we would have to multiply. 15 containers that are each three pints Let's multiply that together to figure out our total number of pints. Well, three times five is 15, so write the five, carry the one. Three times one is three, plus the extra one is four. So we get 45, which means all 15 containers would hold 45 pints. Okay, well, the question was, do they hold more than 22 quarts? Well, yes, because they hold 45 points, pints, and we said that the 22 quarts was equal to 44 pints. So 45 is more than 44, so yes. A table is 20 feet wide. Are seven tables wider than 46 yards? Okay, well, if we take a look at this, notice one of these measurements is in feet and one of these measurements is in yards. So you need to know that there are three feet in every one yard. So that means if we have 46 yards, we can multiply that by three to see how many feet we have. So 46 times three, that's gonna tell us how many yards we have. Well, three times six is 18, so I'm gonna write my eight, carry the one, Three times four is 12, plus the extra one is 13. Okay, so we wanna know if a table's 20 feet wide, are seven tables wider than 138 feet, right? We multiply by three to convert it to feet. Okay, well, if each table is 20 feet wide and we have seven of them, we would have to multiply the length of our table, 20 feet, by how many tables we have, seven, to figure out our total number of feet. Well, seven times zero is zero. Seven times two is 14. So we get 140 feet total for all seven tables. So let's look at this. If our seven tables are a total of 140 feet, then yes, that is wider than 138 feet or 46 yards. porcupine drinks 20 pints of water each month. Do three porcupines drink more than eight gallons of water in a month? All right, well, let's take a look. One of these is in pints and one of these is in gallons. So we want to convert. We need to know how many pints are in a gallon. Okay, and there's eight pints in one gallon. Okay, so that means if it was eight gallons, well, I can multiply that by eight to figure out how many pints that was. Okay, so let's say eight gallons times 
eight pints per gallon. Well, eight times eight is 64. So we can think of that eight gallons as being 64 pints. So if a porcupine drinks 20 pints, well, three porcupines would drink three times as much as that, right? So 20 times three, the amount each one drinks times how many porcupines we have, well, 20 times three is 60, right? Two times three is six, and you can just add the zero on there since we're multiplying with zero on the end or a number with a factor of 10. So that means our three porcupines drink 60 pints. Okay, so they do not drink more than eight gallons because they drank 60 pints, which is a little less than eight gallons or 64 pints. So we're gonna say no, 